Oh, Silver, we are trying out the BF-109 first right now, and the first thing it does is basically climb on us. We'll have to make sure the throttle is under control, we'll have to trim the aircraft. Now, these warbirds are really a handful to manage. Now, we managed to survive 10 minutes in the Mustang, we managed to survive 4 minutes in this Wolf A8, and we shall see how we last in the Kurfürst! And yes, I'm going to keep saying Kurfürst! Because you know they'll joke about how German sounds like you uh, want to invade Poland if you are going for a piece of sliced bread or something like that. Yeah, that's, that joke still applies. So, we have a Boeing B-17. We have... Uh, I think that is actually the plane we see right in front of us. And uh, we have uh, a Mustang and a Spitfire. And I think I still have a limited ammo with this mission. Which is advertised. We need to move in on that Boeing. Yeah, confirmed. That's a Boeing B-17. Now, unlike the other movements with a cannon, this uh, plane does not have any separate firing mechanism. Instead, the cannon is fired basically in the same way as the uh, ramp. We're taking hammer. We're taking damage. We're going. We're going down. We're going down. God damn it! a do-over on that one because we died pretty much too quickly. We're gonna see if we can take the Boeing on the second try. Now, I can under certainly understand how tricky it must be to try and attack an entire formation of these things, but we actually fucked up. We went in from behind, and a favorite attack method against Boeing B-17s was actually to attack from the front or from the rear, or basically anywhere where the guns have as little time as possible to line you up. Now, if we are following the B-17 to shoot it down, then of course the B-17 is going to have a good lead over us. So, we're going to try and strafe it from the front this time. And once that is done, we are uh, going to ignore it. We're going to head straight for the fighters. any hits and we are gonna pass the Boeing so fast that they won't be able to score any hits on us. We'll, we'll leave it for the ground fire if that will work. So we we'll now have to keep an eye out for the enemy airfield and see if we are going to encounter any Mustangs in the street Most likely they have already taken off. No, looks like we still we have them taxiing on the runway. So we are gonna take them out and uh, not in the air, like because that would be too difficult. Actually, we'll do it like this. I'm gonna destroy the second aircraft on the ground and we'll let the first one take off. That's the fair way of doing it, right? That's two Mustangs. I think I scored a hit, but I'm not sure. Also, that is two Mustangs. I cannot see any Spitfires. Wait, I see the Spitfire now. We gotta leave the Spitfire. We'll hit. Back in again. He 
just lost his tail. He's not a threat. He's burning now. Burning up. So, from now on, I am not allowed to engage. Oh, that's interesting. Here I thought I was streaming the aircraft all around, but it seems like the that button is still tied towards viewing around rather than trim. How very interesting. It means I haven't actually trimmed my aircraft despite me thinking that I have done so. Which is actually hilarious. So, I'm not gonna get any do-overs from that one. The Spitfire is gonna be taking off, and it's not really gonna have anything to do. So, that was my first impression of the curve first. And so far, I'm gonna say I would stick with the Fokker Wolf. I still like the Fokker Wolf best of the Warbirds. But, we still have one more Fokker Wolf to try, so that's gonna be interesting. So, this talent is 6 minutes and 2 planes. God damn it.